And your new Amber here with Ginger and Other Creations, bringing you just a little touch of insanity by doing a four foot by two foot cradled board. Gonna do a huge, huge, huge swiped tree, so let's go pay! Welcome to the final boss of my insanity. We have a two by four panel that I am going to very carefully try to paint because partially I built it a little wrong and it's a little tippy. But also just because if you can see the setup that I am filming this with is insane because these are boxes of gloves and you are levitating off the table. This is the biggest project that I have done. This is the biggest board that I am willing to paint on. This is probably the biggest size I am willing to paint on full stop. I know that they make ones bigger. They make canvases that are like twice this. But I can't imagine even entertaining the idea of doing something bigger than this. This is the biggest that I think I will go. I have black paint to start with. Oxidey black I'm not doing black at all in the very center because that is where the regular colors go so there's no need to use it up in the center. Woo! Haha! <laughs> yeah. Pay attention to what we're doing. It is always important to have enough black the edges. The edges are more important just because you get the effect of the paint at the edges. This is also allowing me to kind of encourage the imperfections to leave. Because I'm picking up all of the all the dried bits and bobs that are in there for whatever reason because I do strain my Floetrol. You wouldn't know it by looking at this. Pink up here because we're trying to make an impression of a cherry tree. Green down here because that's where the ground goes. Blue in the middle for Fairly obvious reasons. Well, let's go get them. And now we swipe, coming from the center line-ish, pushing this way. I am getting that sky effect I was hoping for. Excellent! Little peaks of blue, like we actually got bits of tree up in the sky.
you do get to see the spots where the paint is thinner. The base coat is thinner because it goes all patchy when you go over it. I'm so cool with that right now though. Try to haul some of this to that edge. Just, there we go. Just obliterated some very nice lacing. Oh well. That is what happens when we focus on the wrong things. So now, we do our best to add the tree. And for that, I have Creative Inspirations Burnt Sienna and Arteza Pearl Space Gray. Because cherry tree trunks are fairly dark.
I'm going to very gently see if I can add a little bit of black. You see I'm just using the little bottle to put a tiny stripe onto it and then drag it Carefully back to the brown. from here and up don't like that branch was just a shade too wide so what I do made it wider yeah that that makes beautiful sense right there can do a touch of repair here.
finish up by doing some tiny little finger kiss flowers in different colors. Rose appears to be working the best. I hadn't really intended to move this until it was dry, but I think I'm going to have to because the paint is slowly moving to the head up at the top there. And I don't want to lose any more of that pink. And I don't want to mess up what I got because I'm kind of happy with it. Let's take a look. We got our little grass here. I don't know that our flowers were all that successful, but we'll see what they turn out as. Got some interesting color mixing. We'll see what comes out of the, the sparkly paints because I do have some metallics. Here and there, and we've got our branches, some lacing, webbing, all kinds of crazy going on, all the way up to the crown, the crowning glory. Let's fly you over, cause there it is just about and that's the best i can do from this angle stay tuned for the dry result it feels like i'm constantly trying to top myself on big heavy and hard to film but i think this is about as far as we're reaching check it out and it is four foot of tree Let's go in for a close-up. You've got a blaze of that crazy pink, mostly neon, a little bit of other stuff going on. Of course, dragged the blue up in there when I made the trunk of the tree. I think I probably should have leaned on the black a little more. The space gray kind of just made it feel like it muddied things. But gray kind of would if you really think about it. Because I think it all just uh, kind of does go to that weird blue mixed paint. Blue gray. Check out that lacing. Now if I were able to show you the whole thing at once, you would probably see that it's a little different from what I originally had it looking as because when I finished it I decided that its its uh, angle on the way it was sitting on the stool was a little bit more uh, precarious than I wanted it to be and so I very very carefully shifted it from its place over sitting over the stool to my regular drying racks on the floor and when I did Parts of the paint shifted independently. I love the color mixing in here. Just like, look at all those colors. But the paint shifted, and so the... I largely think that it benefited from shifting like that, but up right in about here, and kind of you can see it up here, it uh, migrated and had more wibble than it wanted. And so I 
straightened up the lines a little bit on the trunk and made them a little, 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 little bit uh, wider. And I don't think that it, I don't think it hurt. I think it actually helped in a lot, a lot of ways. I dare to begging is, big old Franken tree. So here it is, the enchanted cherry. And if you look this away just a little bit, let's see if we can get a flash of something, cause I did put my favorite sparkles, not necessarily my favorite color, cause I did orange and, and magenta and yellow. Probably can't see them whatsoever, cause I don't think I can see them from this angle either. Um, but I did see them before I set up everything they're in there trust me there it is thanks for watching comment like and subscribe and we'll see you next sunday bye bye